Hi, this is Dr. Mohammed Al Hamadani. Uh, today we'll share with you this video which is about a veneer preparation. We'll talk during that, this video about the important points that you need uh, to consider during veneer preparation. You know, it's very important to have a procedure that you need to follow every day so you, you can improve your hand uh, skills and by time you will be able to judge and assess your work by your own self. Hopefully, you will find this video helpful for you. Let's start. Okay, so to start veneer preparation, uh, the most important part that you should have idea what is uh, the long axis of the tooth. For example, you can see here that in the central that we have a three thirds, the incisal third, the middle third, and the gingival third. The long axis of the tooth, or the, it is varies, whereas the finishing line will be prepared here. So this is the most important part. You need to understand what is the concept of the veneer. What I mean? Okay, so the bear, for example, here when we start the, our finishing line, should be perpendicular on the surface of the tooth. And why are you moving to the middle third, then to the gingival third? Your bear should be changing to be all, all the way perpendicular to the surface of buccal surface of the tooth. When you reach at this point, your bear should be perpendicular like this. Do not make it like this. When you do that, this will be uh, perpendicular. We make, are going to make a ditch or cut. Now again here, you move, you move your bear like this, and then you back again and make it perpendicular. So to sum up what I, what I, am, what I am saying is you need to, your bear on this side should be perpendicular like this, and you move, you change it, and should be perpendicular like this, and then you continue, okay? You continue like this. So quickly, this is my bear, like this, and this is the move of my bear. Okay, this is very important to cut and make a decent uh, in, uh, index, putty index, and always the more you put your putty index, the better result you will get. So always do not cut a lot of from, from the teeth. When you cut for around 30 seconds, one minute, just take it out and then check it again. Always check again. Now, we will start what we discussed about the bare angulation now. Okay, well, let's start now. Very important to have a good finger support. Okay. And this is, you can get your uh, other finger index to get support to your uh, hand piece. Now we will, we will do what we discussed earlier. Now I will try to outline my finishing line. This is a very, very important step. Now let's go. Perpendicular. Now look at my bear, how I am changing the direction of my bear. Now, my bear is very important to change your bear on at the gingival cells like this. Then back again, change your bear a little bit up and go back to the perpendicular your two surface. Now, very important, I, can you see this? This side that being cut here, this area, this area. Can you see that your bear is cutting from the side as well? So it is not enough that your bear is cutting from the tip. Very important that the side of the bear is cutting from the buccal surface here as well okay this is very important always remember that you need to keep one mm from the gingival uh, line okay now this is almost my finishing line is here this is the outline this is the first step so now i'm going to put my index 
Now I put my body index and always remember that we need to cut here from the buccal surface 0.5 to 0.7 and here about 1.5 incisally. Some they prefer to cut the incisal first then they will go to the outline. It is up to you whether you want to start with the incisal reduction then you'll go to the other surfaces. Now again make sure that you need to cut what i will do i'm going to cut around one millimeter then i will leave a 0.5 to the finishing this is our, how i hold my hand piece this will help me to give 100 percent control comes and goes comes and goes again i will check with my putty i will see if it is one millim less than one millim just to give me uh, a more control about my uh, reduction. Now, again, we're st now going to start the reduction, the buckle reduction. This is your bear. And as uh, we need to remember that we are using the SDM bear, we'll show you the picture of uh, this bear. I, I, I like this bear. I always use this bear in the most of the exercises. So this is how you hold. If you are starting practicing, you just started, so always make sure that you are cutting when you go. Do not cut when you go and back. Because every time you touch the tooth, you cut it from the tooth structure. And we are restricted to 0.5 to 0.7. So, wash away. Wash away cutting. Wash away. Whenever you cut it from here, make sure you cut it from here and here all together. Okay? All together. As you said, always remember to put your putty index. Check if it is how much you are uh, cutting. So, for example, here, still we have enough space. And we'll continue. Now we'll continue until I will get the 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. As I said, wash away cut. Do not cut. In all direction, make sure that you are controlling here. When I join the buckle reduction with the finishing line, I will try to bend my beer just to make it smooth and continuous. Okay. Always make sure that you are keeping your finishing line clear, nice, smooth, and continuous. Uh, please make sure that the finishing line at this point and this point don't make it too wide, or we call it a spoon shape, and this is absolutely unacceptable. So that's why I am saying keep your bed perpendicular and don't make it make the finishing line wide because if you make it wide it will be like a spoon shape so and uh, uh, the, the veneer will not be uh, fitted now i am going to uh, switch off the water because I want to uh, show you using the mirror how I am going to do the palatal or the lingual side, okay? Okay, so what you do here, put your bear in the middle, exactly in the middle, 0 0.5 millim length from that, or let me say the tip of the bear, Okay, then right, 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 
and gently out this is so you can make the uh, chamfer finishing line where uh, with the, what we call the lingual wrap or the palatal wrap with the veneer and go back to the middle point then left 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 then out 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 that's it very important that you have notch here and a notch here which is equal to 0.5 uh, millim now because i'm using the mirror i have a bit, uh, less control now i'm going to make it more clear don't this lingual side or parietal side it is around two minute work no more do not go comes and goes a lot it is very easy 0.5 no more Now, the most important thing in that video, and that what I always tell my students, my candidates, that you should have a procedure. So what is the procedure that you get from this video? Number one, you should have putty, good putty. Then what you need, you need to be aware that we need to cut from the incisal edge about 1.5 milli and buccal surface about 0.5 to 0.7 milli. Then, what I will do, as I said, we can start cutting from the incisal edge about one millim and leave 0.5 uh, to the finishing. Then we'll start uh, making the outline of our finishing line. And always remember that when we prepare the buckle side for the central, the tooth has, has a three uh, plane. This is one, which which is within the incisal uh, third and uh, second plane which is within the middle third and the third plane which is within the gingival plane so when we remove the incisal first so your preparation will be into a plane and that's what we get so when you do your preparation which is very important to remember that your preparation will be with the same tooth contour now we did our finishing line as we said the perpendicular uh, to the tooth then when i prepare the buccal surface i make it in one plane and this is the second plane then you blend the both a plane and uh, this will help you to give the result very important to remember that if you do the whole tooth with one a plane your preparation will be absolutely uh, not acceptable again you need to make it in one plane this is the first plane and this is the second plane let me show it to you in a better angulation okay this is the first plane and this is the second plane then you blend at this point you blend this plane and this plane what is the result can you see here okay look so you can see that I have overall same thickness with the same contour of the tooth. Exactly the same, nice, net and smooth. And here 0.5 uh, and here between 0.5 and you can adjust if it is more and less. Then can you see how nice and beautiful and smooth a preparation? I don't have any uh, sharp angle or acute angle look at the parietal side nice and a smooth continuous with the notch buckle very important look at this vision this will help you always check your preparation that you should cut equally so can you see this point here yes here this is will help you that you can judge whether your preparation is even or not. This will make your preparation nice 
and a beautiful appearance okay so you can check always if you have any even you can cut from here and there i will remove any again any sharpness or any sharp point put my index again and look at here nice and beautiful this is not a clear a bit point here best but it is all even and nice hope that will help you uh, and i wish you would get benefit from this video thank you very much